I am a big fan of using AI with already existing software such as this Pike PDF. If you have ever tried to automate PDF tasks in Python and wanted to throw your laptop out of the window, you are not alone. Most PDF libraries are either too basic, which can barely merge two files, or too complex, which requires a PhD to understand the documentation. This is where Pike PDF can help. This is a Python library that gives you industrial strength PDF manipulation with an API 2. So clean it, you can just manipulate it and then it feels like, you know, so basic, so easy yet so powerful, it feels like cheating. It is built on QPDF, which is the same battle tested C++ engine that powers professional PDF tools. Pike PDF lets you do everything from simple page extraction to complex PDF surgery and we are going to install it in this video and I will be testing it out with Olama based local models. So we will give it a twist of AI. This is Fahad Birza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Please also follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any slop. So we already now know what exactly the Spike PDF is. Let's get straight into installation. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu system as I will be using local AI models. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM and if you are looking to rent a GPU on very good price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Now I will be using Olama based model. I already have Olama installed and I am running this OpenAI's open uh, model GPT OSS 20 billion which is already installed and running you can use any model of your choice and if you don't know what olama is just go to my channel search with olama and you will be able to find heaps of videos it is one of easy tool to run models locally if you're a beginner if you just want to test them out next up let me create a virtual environment with conda let's wait for it to finish now let me install pike pdf and also the olama's python package and that is all done. Okay, so first up, let me show you a basic example without AI as how Pike PDF works. So this is a code which I will be using to manipulate this PDF file. And this is a PDF file, an AI generated one, where I have this sample data of a corporate report with a lot of stuff in it. There are multiple pages and some other number data and mumbo jumbo. So what we are doing here, we are shortening it by shortening mean we are just you know deleting the last page saving it we are also extracting specific pages we are rotating the page you can even add password protection and there are a few more things which you can do with it so let me go back and run it let me clear this and let me run that python app.py so let me run this and focus on how quick it would be so i'm just running it there you go and it has already done it, all the tasks which I asked it to do. So if I just take you there, these are all the things which it has done. So first one should have only first three pages. There you go. So these are the first three pages. I'll just close it. Second one, it should be protected. So it is now asking for password. Password is, I believe, password one, two, three, the universal password. And now you see that it is open. Another thing, it you can rotate it. You see, it has now rotated it. So that is cool. Next up, it has shortened it. So all the operations which I asked it to do, it has already done, and it was fairly quick. Now, in this next example, we are testing it out with our Olama based models. So what I have done here is I have built an AI powered PDF process, uh, processing pipeline where I have combined Pike PDF's PDF manipulation with our local Olama LLM to create an intelligent document enhancement system. So code is again using this one of, I'll just open it like this. So this is my PDF file, a generated one, a corporate report, which I showed you earlier. So this is what I'm going to work with. I'm going to examine the document return structured inside 
and then I'm going to, you know, enhance the PDF with um, the model, the Olama based model, and then some practical PDF operations by creating some variants where I will be getting an executive summary, maybe a password protected confidential version, or maybe a web optimized linearized PDF, uh, maybe also a PDF with table of, without table of content. So let's run this to see how it works. There you go. So it has already done it. So it's very, very quick, all running local, and it has produced all of these files. So these are the files, as you can see now they're appearing and these are the rest of the file. So this is the AI enhanced file. You see it has also put in some draft stuff. And then if I just go down and see, so it has added some words, reworded few things and properly rearranged everything in terms of a corporate portfolio. So this looks good. And then we have confidential. Yes, it is password protected, all good. And then this is the executive summary it has given, which also looks good. And these are the financials only. So you can manipulate the data however you like. And then once you add the touch of PDF, it just takes it to next level. So no table of contents here. And this is a web optimized version, which you can readily use. So you see a lot of things you can do when you combine AI with these traditional tools, as you can see. And there are a lot of other things which you can do with it. For example, um, you see that by using this approach, you can solve critical problems in any modern document management where organizations drawn in PDFs that lack proper metadata, making them nearly impossible to search or categorize at scale one. Really major use case would be that if you want to create a data set for fine tuning a model from your own company's data, which is buried in PDF files, you can use a tool like this and then generate that data set. For example, if you are a legal firm, you can process thousands and thousands of contracts, depositions and discovery documents, automatically extracting key parties, dates and clauses, and then organizing them intelligently without any manual review. And if you really think about it, this really spans to financial institution, medical, corporate archives, you name it, and then I think uh, you can do it. So this is a kind of automation that turns document chaos into structured searchable AI enhanced knowledge that actually delivers value for the business. That's it. This is Fahad Mirza. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. Please follow me on X. Thank you for all the support.